We're here. Hello. Hi, hi, hi. In you go. Shoes off, please, Tim. Thank you. Good to see you, Tim. You've grown. Hi, Mrs. Welch. Hello, little Jack. How's Topsy? She's getting much better, thank you. Do you want to give me your bag, Tim? Tim! Tony! You're wearing a school uniform. Oh. Your head's different. Yeah. No one wears a uniform at Little Compton Primary. You can wear anything you want. Right, who wants biscuits and juice? Anyone? Yeah! There you go. Right, hey. sit down, please. Sit down at the table. Thank you. After our snacks, we're ready to play. Sofa attack. Oh, yeah, sofa attack. Sofa attack! Sofa attack! Sofa attack! Oh, sofa attack! Be careful of Jack, boys. <laughs> I'll take Jack out for a walk. Okay. OK, OK, how about you two play a game that isn't attacking the sofa? How about that? Oh. Hmm? I know. Let's play hide and seek. Yeah, go. like we always do. All right, and you come to ten. One, two, three, So he's come to play too. You can all play together, just not on the sofa. Weren't you playing hide and seek just then? Yes, yeah, Sam, you hide. Sam's the best hider ever. You'll never find me. <laughs> okay, we can count. One, two, three. Come on! What? I'm coming to find you! But we have to count to ten. We only need to count to three. Sam's a really fast hider. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha! Oh. Oh. Not there. Is he in here? Oh. I told you he was good at hiding. Where, where could he be? Where else? Oh. I told you you couldn't find me. <laughs> 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 Garden, please. Okay. Good man. Grab your shoes. This is our new laundry dryer. When this is ready, we'll be able to hang our wet clothes outside so they can dry out here in the sun. Good, okay, isn't it? Yeah. I'm going to put it in that hole that I've dug just over there. Oh, yeah. How will it stand up? That is a good question. I'm going to use concrete. Look, I've got a bag of concrete mixed just over here, and I'm going to stand it up in that. So, you're going to help me. Um, put these gloves on, first of all. There you go. There you go. Right, pick up 
this watering can. It's quite heavy. Got it? Oh, yeah. You go and take it down there. Stand back a second, Tim. Right, pull this out. Really dusty. Go right back. Let me get into a mess. There you go. Pour a tiny bit, just a bit at a time. I'm going to get something to stir it with. That's it. Good, good, good. Yeah. Bit more. I helped Mr. Welch make the concrete by adding water to the concrete mix. Right, let's swap. I want you to start mixing it for me. There you go. Go on, really swirl it around. Get stuck in. <laughs> I'm going to add a little bit more water. Right, if you want to swap, you do the water, I'll do the, I'll do the stirring again. I think we could do with Tim a little bit of help. What do you think? Sure. Okay. Right, you two, Tony and Sam, come over here. You're going to help us stir this concrete. Tony and Sam join in. We all make the concrete together. Yeah. Sam, get ready to stir. Here it comes. Just a bit more, Tim. That's it. Right, stir, Sam. Go for it. That's really good. Oh, that's really good stirring. Here. Uh... Sorry, I can't remember your name. Oh, it's Tim. You know Tim. Oh, please, me. Good job, Tim. Oh, be here. Too dry. You're good at this. It's good stirring, guys. Good stirring. Keep going. Yeah, much easier now. You know what, guys? I think that the concrete is ready. Okay, so here's what we're going to do next, right? I want you to pick this up for me. Pick this up. This is the laundry dryer. There we go. You get one end, Tim. There you are, Sam. Right now, take it over there, there where I've dug the hole. Walk up onto the decking. Walk right up. That's it. There we go. And we're going to plant it in here. And I want each of you to hold on, nice and tight. There we go. Hold well on, Sam. Right now. Uh, he carefully hold the dryer upright. Tony's dad pours the concrete into the container that supports the dryer even more. Oh, your arms are starting to wait. What about mine? That's oh, a wow. Look at that. That's great. OK, big test coming up now, guys. Let go. Let's see if it stands. We did it! We well did done, it. team! We did it. Well done! Good work, well done, team. Well done, guys. Yeah. Well done, well done, Sam. Good work. After all of that DIY, I get changed out of my messy school uniform and borrow clean clothes from Tony. Look, you want me new clothes, Tony? <laughs> right, your uniform is in the wash, Tim. It'll be ready soon. Why don't we hang his clothes out on the dryer outside? Not today, yeah. I'm afraid, Tony. The concrete's not set hard yet. Aww. But that does give me an idea. Come here, put your shoes on. Get your gloves on. Come outside with me. Mr. Welch shows us how to draw our faces with sticks in the concrete before it goes hard. Will they really be there forever? Yeah. When the concrete gets hard, your faces will be fixed solid, which means every time I come in here to hang the washing, I'm going to have you three staring back at me. Yeah. <laughs> right, let's take a picture. Okay. Okay. Stand next to here then. So stand next to this. Right. Run smile. Good, huh? Check it out. Cool. It looks amazing. Oh, good one. Wow. Oh, please can you send it to my mummy or dad to show Topsy, please, Mr. Will? That's a really good idea. Yes, I'll do that right now, too. Come on then. Let's go back inside to get some more juice. We all have something to eat and then Mr. Welch's phone rings. Can you get my phone? Can you see where my phone is? I can hear it ring. Oh, sir! Oh! Oh, good man. Thanks, Tim. Thank you. Hello. Hello, Mr. Welch. It's Topsy. Oh, hello, Topsy. <laughs> Please, can I speak to Tony? Uh, yes, I will get Tony for you now. He's just here. Here you go, Tony. It's for you. It's Topsy. Hi, Topsy. Did you like the photo we sent you? Yes, it made me smile. Thank you. <laughs> and that's when Topsy said, 
Please may I come and play at your house next time, Tony? Please can I come and play at your house next time, Tony? Yes, you can. And you can meet my friend Sam. Oh, Sam's really great fun, Topsy. Hello, Topsy. <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> and that, said Tony, Tim and Sam, was that. It feels weird without Topsy. Yeah. yeah. Topsy's not coming to school today because she's in hospital. I'm going to visit her after school. I can't wait. We need to say hi to Mr Rosen. I wave to Mr Rosen like we always do, every morning on the way to school. Hello, Mr Rosen! Where's Topsy? Oh, I need to tell Mr Rosen about Topsy's appendix. Appendix! <gasps> oh. He can't hear you. <laughs> appendix taken out. OK, don't worry, Tim. I'll phone Mr Rosen later and explain everything. Come on, let's get you to school. <laughs> oh, look at the train. I know. This half term, in class 1M, we are learning about growing things. So, today, 1M, we are going to plant a bean in a pot, like this one. And if we give this bean everything that it needs, it should sprout. I'm not really listening to what Mr Morris is saying, because I'm telling Vinda all about Topsy. She, she was so, so, so sick. You went, oh, 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 really hurt, So, who can tell me what a bean like this might need to enable it to grow into a runner bean plant? Yes, Is Roger. It water. Topsy. Correct. Topsy. Water. Topsy. Topsy. Can anyone else think oh, what else really a bean might me. need as well as water? Ouch, 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 ouch. Tim, can you tell me what the bean might need to grow? Water. Yes, Tim, thank you, but I've already written water on the board. Anything else? Yes, Kerry? Mr Morris, did you know that Tim's going to see Topsy in the hospital for the first time today? Ah, I see, a hospital visit. Well, that is a very interesting thing to do, and maybe that's what Tim's thinking about this morning. OK. Hospital. Yes, Tim? Um, did you know, Mr Morris, Topsy's had her appendix taken out? Oh, I see. Topsy's had an appendix operation. A pen dix. Topsy has had an appendix operation, or what is known as an appendicectomy. That's a very long word, isn't it? So we've got three words on the board now. Tim, can you read them out for us? Uh... Do you want to come and sit at the front? Try again. Water, hospital, appendix. Excellent. Well done, Tim. Now, if you listen really well and work really hard after lunch, we can all make a get well card for Topsy. Yes? Yes. OK. So, beans. Yes. Mummy has slept at the hospital with Topsy ever since she's been poorly. But she's collecting me from school today and I can't wait to see her. Mummy! Hi. Say hi to Topsy <laughs> from me! Oh, I missed you! Oh. Is Topsy all right? Yeah, she's doing really, really well. We made a card for Topsy. Oh, Tim, it's lovely! Yeah. It's from the whole of 1M. Oh, Tim, she'll love that. Should we go and see her? Do you want to carry it? Get well soon, Topsy. Oh, gorgeous. Who helped you make it? Say hi to Topsy for us. Oh, we're Oh, look, Tim. Can you read the sign over there? Uh. Just yes. straight ahead. This one over here? Over there. Uh. 
Good look, this one. Can you see where's the... What ward are we looking for? Can you see it? Daisy ward, isn't it? Oh, it's there. Yeah. Uh, Daisy ward. Well this done. Way. Perfect. <laughs> Not so fast, young man. We've got enough broken bones in here already. Oh, sorry, Dr Walton, he's a bit excited. <laughs> oh, I'm going to see my twin sister, Topsy. Oh, wow, you must be Tim. I'm Dr Walton. She's told me all about you. She's doing very well. You just go straight through that door, follow your mum, and don't forget to put some hand sanitizer on your hands to keep them germ-free. OK? okay? I'll show him. Thanks, Dr Walton. Yeah. Yes. Do a little pump. There you go. Yeah. And rub your hands together. OK. Do you want to push the button? This one here. Uh. Can I help? Oh, yes, hello. We're here to see Topsy O'Dell. Oh, after you. Topsy! Tim! Oh, careful, Tim. Topsy's tummy's still a bit sore. Oh, how are you feeling, my twin-tastic Topsy? Did you manage to eat all your lunch? Um, I ate the pudding <coughs> and I'm okay, thanks, but I'm really glad you're back. Oh, well, I remembered slippers. <gasps> yes, oh, thank you. <laughs> there you go. Whoa, are these all drawers? Yeah. What's in them? Not much. Oh. Tell me about school, Tim. What did I miss out on today? Well, I told the whole class about your operation and we planted some beans as well. Did Kerry plant a bean? Uh, yes, yeah, she was Vinda's learning partner. Good morning, Topsy. Hi, Dr. Walton. Hello again, Tim. Hi, Dr. Walton. Hi, Mr. and Mrs. O'Dell. Hello. Hello. Hi. Dr. Walton, please can Tim listen to his heartbeat? Yes, you can oh. listen to your heartbeats on my stethoscope. Now, you just put these in your ears. That's it. And hold this up onto your chest. There you go. You hold that. How's that? Is that, is that my heart? Yeah. I expect it's rather loud. Yes, it is. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> now, how are you feeling? Are you feeling comfortable, Topsy? I am, thanks. And do you have any questions for me today? Oh, I do. When can Topsy come home? We can look after her there. I'm sure you'd make a great doctor, Tim. But... I'm afraid we're going to let Topsy stay here and get a little bit better in hospital first. What do you say, Topsy? Um, I do like it here, but when can I go back to school, please, Dr Walton? We need to make sure you're completely better here first, you see. When you have appendicitis, it means there's a big operation. It takes Dr you Walton tells me that I can't go to school for two whole weeks. And then she starts beeping. And then you can go back to school. Oh! I have to go and look after another patient. Oh, before I go, I'm going to ask the nurse to show you my favourite room in the hospital. Oh, what's that? What is it? <laughs> You'll see. Now, you take care, Topsy. I'll see you later. Thanks, Dr. Walton. Bye. Bye. Tim, do you remember that we got something for Topsy? Oh, yes, I nearly forgot. <gasps> there you go. <gasps> we made this at school. The whole of one of them signed it. I love it. I really miss school and all my friends. There's yours and there's Kerry's. Yeah. Who <laughs> spotted? Hi, Topsy. I'm Ty, the senior charge nurse. Dr Walton has asked me to take you for a walk. If you feel ready to do that. Yes, please. Great. OK, I'm just going to bring the bed up. Just Ty helps Topsy to stand up. Yeah. She has to move slowly. And carefully, after her operation. To so just bring your legs over to the side. OK. All good. Shuffle right to the front here. That's it. Ah, well done, Topsy. <laughs> Thank you, Ty. Come on, everyone, I want to explore. Not too fast. Not too fast. Got to take it slowly, Topsy, OK? Play zone is the most fun place in the hospital. Whoa. The play zone's great. And I meet Aisha and Brent. They're fun teachers. 
Especially for when you're in hospital like me. Wow, look at all of these books and games, Topsy. You'll never want to come home. <laughs> <laughs> and look, a dressing up box, Topsy. Come on, Topsy. Don't you want to go and join in, Topsy? <laughs> <laughs> I think I need to sit down. Oh, darling, of course. Let's get you a chair. Topsy, what's wrong? You grab your chair, Brian, please. And that's when Ty said, Topsy has had an operation and it's going to take a little time for her to get better. Topsy has had an operation and it's going to take a little time for her to get better. Please, may I have a drink of water, Ty? Of course. I'll get you one. And when you're ready, walk back to the ward, OK? Do you like me to read you a story? Oh, no, no, no. I will, I will. Oh, OK. Oh. <laughs> I like this, Tim. Look at you. <laughs> I will read to you in my chicken report. And that, said Tim, was that. I'm waiting with my teacher, Mr Morris, for Mummy to collect me after school. I'm the only one left in the playground. Your mummy isn't usually late picking you up, Tim. Let's go to the office and we'll ask Mrs Hall to give her a quick call and we'll see where she is, OK? Yeah. I'm supposed to be going to get my eyes tested today. Yeah, that's OK, Tim. I'm sure your mummy hasn't forgotten. Mr Morris takes down. me to the school secretary, Mrs Hall, Hello, Mrs. Hall. who is very nice Tim's to me. Mummy seems to be running late. Can you she looks up mummy's number yes, and phones her. Me. All right, Tim, I'm going to be outside. OK. Don't worry, Tim. I'm sure your mummy isn't far away. Hello? Mrs Odell? Hi, it's Dee Hall here from Hatcham Primary. Yes, I'll let Tim know. OK, bye-bye. What did mummy say? She's at home with Topsy. Topsy's been asleep all afternoon and your mummy didn't want to wake her, so she's arranged for your grandma to come and collect you. as fast as I could. <laughs> I'm supposed to be going to get my eyes tested now. Yes, I know. Your mummy told me and I'm going to take you. Okay. See you tomorrow, Tim. Bye. 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 Thanks, Mrs. Hall. Bye. <laughs> oh, put your hand. Oh, where's Mossy, Grandma? She's asleep at home. She just wouldn't get in the car. I don't know what's wrong with my funny old dog today. Topsy and Mossy are both having a very sleepy day. <laughs> <laughs> they are. Oh. Here you go, Tim. I brought you a banana. I know you're always hungry after school. Thank you. Oh, you wear glasses too. Oh, I forgot that. <laughs> I do, Tim. For driving, I am short-sighted. I have to wear them sometimes because I can't see things far away nice and clearly. Oh, that's the car. This way. That's why I need glasses too. Well, let's see what the optometrist says about that. Did you say optometrist? Uh, not quite. I said optometrist. Oh, uh, whoa, well, that's a big word. <laughs> How do you say it? Well, actually, do you know what an optometrist is? An optometrist is the person who today will test your eyes and check to see if you need glasses. Take that off. Op no, op to <laughs> How do you say it? <laughs> right. Op. Op. Tom. Tom. Et. Et. Wrist. Wrist. Optometrist. Op no, optometrist. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly right. Come on. Get in. There we go. By the time Ooh. we get to my eye Buckle test, in. I can say the word perfectly. What is it again? Optometrist. <laughs> op. Optometrist. Optometrist. And Tom. here we are at the optometrist. Here we go. Hello. <laughs> My grandson has an appointment at four o'clock. His name is Tim O'Dell. Um, yes. Uh, Mrs. Kafari will be right with you. Just take a seat, please. There are so many different pairs of glasses. Oh, I know. Which ones do you like? I don't know. I like those ones. Quite fun. Yeah. 
blue ones, green ones, dark blue ones, red ones. Lots of different model. Hi Tim, I'm Sia Kathari. I'll be testing your eyes today. You're an optometrist. I am, and you're a very clever boy for knowing such a big word. Do you want to follow me through? Tim, today I'm going to need you to have a seat on my big blue chair up there so we can do some reading together. Now, are you okay to sit on your own there, or do you want to sit on grandma's lap? I'll sit on my own. Yes, yeah, well done. Good boy, Tim. As I get comfortable in the chair, Mrs. Kathari asks me lots of questions. Have you had your eyes tested before, Tim? Uh, no. Oh, it's so exciting. It's all very easy. And at the moment, are you finding things look a bit fuzzy? Uh, yes. When I'm at school, I find it hard to see the whiteboard. OK. Um, does anyone in your family wear glasses? Oh, yes, Grandma does. Oh, does she? Yes, she can't see things very clearly if mm. they're far away. She's okay. short-sighted. Ah, oh, OK. So what we're going to do is some reading. I'm going to use this to cover up one of your eyes, like that. Is that OK? And you have a look at the letters in the mirror. What can you read there? N R H V Well done. H O F C Any more? Don't worry, they're a bit tricky now. Bit difficult. I can't aren't read they? them. That's okay, you did really well. Should we see if we can make things a bit clearer for you? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to need to pop these on. Okay. Mm, giant pair of glasses. <laughs> How do I look, Grandma? <laughs> Okay, so should we go back to those letters? Now, can you read anything on there? Mrs Kathari slots lots of different pieces of glass called lenses in and out. I have to tell her if they make the letters less fuzzy or not. Is that better or worse for you, Tim? Really good. Should we swap that round? D. Is that easier for you? N, yes. yes. A, no, E, oh, well L. Done. Fantastic. So let's pop this out. Well done, Tim. You did so well. And you're short-sighted like your grandma. <laughs> now you need to go out in the shop to choose some frames to go with the glasses. So let me pop these off. But before you go, Tim, we need to make sure your eyes are nice and healthy and do a few more eye checks. Is that OK? OK. So this first one, we need to check your eye muscles. I try on lots of frames to see which glasses I'd like to get. Let's ask yeah. Mummy. OK, now give them back to Mrs Kathari. I think let's... Yeah. Let's right, try them put, on one yeah. at a time. Put the, uh, put the blue pair on first. Yeah. There we go. OK. Lovely. Excellent. OK, now let's try what we got there. Oh, those green ones. Let's try the green ones on. The funny ones. Yeah. Yeah. OK. Very good. And what have we got finally? Those metal ones. Put those metal ones on. There we go, Tim. Now, what we need to do is send these photos to Mummy and then she can tell us which ones she prefers. OK, I love the classes you chose. Reception there, OK. Thank you. Miss Brooks, do you like to come through? Oh, this will be a message from your Mummy. Oh, let's see which one she prefers. It's from Topsy. What does it say? Will you read it? Hi, Tim. I like the blue ones, and Mummy does too. Now from Topsy. There then, that's sorted. Happy? Yeah. <laughs> I can see from them really well. Can you? 
That's the most important bit, isn't it? Yeah. Mummy, they're here! Come on, Topsy, let's go and see them. Good girl, take it easy. Grandma. Oh. Hi Topsy. Hi Tim. Where are your new blue glasses? Oh, well, the optometrist said that in a couple of days I have to go and collect them. Optometrist? optometrist. Wow, that's a big word. How did you get on? And someone's come to Topsy! see it. Topsy, look. We picked her up on the way. She wants to say, get well soon, Topsy. Get thank, well soon, thank you, Mossy. <laughs> thank you, Grandma. <laughs> Huggle. Not too tight, Grandma. Remember my tummy. I know. And that's when Grandma said, <laughs> Lovely Mossy is so pleased to be with you two. <laughs> Lovely Mossy is so pleased to be with you two, Topsy and Tim. We love you, Mossy. <laughs> We're really pleased to be with you two. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, everyone. What? Let's go and have tea in the garden. Oh, yes. And that, Tim Mossy, was that. Grandma bought sausage rolls. Oh, brilliant. Mummy! We are in year one at Hatcham Primary, and it's Friday. Oh, right. Yay. What are you two doing? Great. Good. Dad's around the corner in the car. Are we ready to go yes. camping? Yes. Yay. We're off on a weekend adventure. Topsy and Tim. <laughs> we are going camping! <laughs> okay, in the car. Top to you first. Oh, okay. There you go. We're going <laughs> camping! <laughs> We're going <laughs> camping! <laughs> camping! <laughs> camping! <laughs> You okay, Topsy? I feel sick. Oh. Okay. I'll open the window. Mummy, uh -huh. I need a wee already. Okay. I'll pull over at the next petrol station. Okay. Oh, what are you two like? <laughs> <laughs> when we stop, Tim has a wee, and I get some fresh air, and we both change out of our school uniform, and we're on our way. On a side. Well spotted. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I saw it first. Oh, I always see it first. <laughs> oh, we're here. 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 We love camping at Fieldhouse Farm. Oh look, is that Carrie? Yes, it is. It's Carrie. Look. Oh. Hi, Carrie. They beat us. Right. Kerry and her mum and dad are camping with us this weekend. Hi, Hi. Kerry. Oh, lovely to see you. Here you go, darling. Up you come. Hi, Kerry. Ugh. Hi, best friends. <laughs> right. I'm going to go and say hello to Mr and Mrs Wilkins in the farmhouse. Who wants to join me? Oh, me. Wait, well, don't go yet. Me too. <laughs> yeah? Yes, good. Me. Topsy. Do we go? Oh. Topsy, are you feeling poorly? I've got a tummy ache, Mummy. Tell you what, why don't you stay in the car and I'll put up the tent and then I'll get a blanket, OK? And I'll snuggle you up, make you all nice and cosy. Okay? I'm staying with Topsy. Oh, OK, then okay. it's me and you to get the milk and eggs from the farmhouse and then get a nice campfire going. <laughs> OK. <laughs> <laughs> Can we make an omelette? Yeah, what would you like in your omelette? Mr and Mrs Wilkins own the campsite. They live in this big farmhouse. They're really nice. Mrs Wilkins is a doctor. Hello? Hello? They're here. Oh, hello, Brian. <laughs> hello. Lovely to see you. Nice to see you. <gasps> Look at you, Tim. <laughs> Haven't you grown? Oh, where's Top 
Sue. Oh, she has a bit of a tummy ache. Oh, poor thing. Oh, is Monty here? Oh, the old fella's in his basket, as per usual. Come on. <laughs> Hello, Monty. You want to make some milk, won't you? Oh, you read my mind. Oh. We came back. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Hello, Tim. Hi, Mr Wilkins. Oh, lovely. Thanks, Mr Wilkins. Lovely to have you back. Lovely to be back. Tim, time to go. Oh, bye, Mr Wilkins. Bye. Bye, Monty. Bye, Mr Wilkins. Oh, it is lovely to have you back here at Fieldhouse Farm. You have a wonderful stay. And Thank you. Don't forget, if you need anything, please just come and knock. We Thanks. will. We will. Thanks. Bye. 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 <gasps> Look at those. Eggs. Is that by the chicken over there? When Dad and I get back to the tents, we see that Topsy's feeling better. She's drawn a family of faces on her muddy car with Kerry. Oh, look what we've been doing. Yeah, <laughs> you can do you. There. No, no more drawing on the car. Thank you. Oh, oh. Okay. Kerry, please, could you wash your hands? Um, there's a tap just over there with some soap. My hands. OK, go and wash your hands. Mm. And then after that, we can look for some dry firewood and make a camp oh, for you. Oh, We'll be staying at Fieldhouse Farm when we... We collect enough sticks, not just for our first night camping, but for our second night too. And here we are on Saturday, drinking hot chocolate and singing our favourite campfire song. Singing guy, yippee, 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 Singing guy, yippee, 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 Singing guy, yippee, yippee, who fancies some marshmallows then? Oh, oh I do. Do you like some marshmallows? My tummy pain's here now. It really hurts. Oh, Topsy. All right. Come Ow. On. Oh. Oh. All right, Topsy. Come on. Let's get you into the tent for a lie down. Good girl. Still poorly. Yeah. Okay. Um. I think I'd better have a word with Mrs Wilkins. She's a doctor, so, yeah. Oh, Dad? Yeah? Um, can I come? Yeah. I can yeah. hold the torch. OK. I hope we didn't interrupt your supper. No, not at all. Dad and I go and see Mrs Wilkins, and she comes back with us to check on Topsy. Hello, Topsy. Hello. I think you're not feeling very well. Can I just touch? It feels really sore. There. Oh, all right now. Right, it could be a number of things, mm -hmm. but I think it might be appendicitis. Mm -hmm. well, so, Mrs. Wilkins, yeah. she said that Topsy um, might have something called uh, appi appendi uh, appendicitis. Uh, uh, yeah, yes, oh. appendicitis. I think so. Yeah. Oh, poor thing. It's not nice, is it? Don't worry, though. Be totally fine, OK? Uh, right, Mrs Wilkins thinks that it would be best if I take Topsy to hospital. Um, so that's what I'm going to do, Tim, OK? Will you stay with Dad for me? OK. OK. Good boy. There's nothing to worry about. I think she's going to be absolutely fine. We just need to get her to the hospital okay, and then they can check it all out. It's the best place for her. Okay. Okay. Bye, Topsy. Oh, into the car, Okay. Hi, Mummy. Bye, Topsy. Topsy is going to the best place to make herself better, okay? Okay. All right. Good boy. We'll see you in a bit. Let me help you with the door. Topsy again. Okay, so 
A hospital doctor will examine her, and then if she does have a poorly appendix, a special doctor called a surgeon will operate on topsy and take the appendix out, <laughs> and she won't feel anything. Okay. Okay. Let's get some sleep. Dad, I can't wait to speak to Topsy in the morning. Oh. <laughs> Good night. Did you get any sleep last night? Yeah. Next morning, we speak to Mummy at the hospital. And now Topsy's doing really well after her operation. She just needs to rest and get better now. And how are you, my twin tabulous Tim? Oh, I'm great. Look, look, look. Here. Okay, there you go. Shall we Look. <gasps> oh, wow. Did Mr. Wilkins cook it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're having a big breakfast. Look. Hi. <laughs> oh, hi, everyone. <laughs> hi. Oh. oh. Topsy's waking up now. Would you like to talk to her? Oh, yes, please. Hello. <gasps> Hiya. Hi. Let everyone see Topsy. Look. Hey. Topsy. Oh, Topsy. Hello. Oh, oh Topsy. Hello, darling. Oh. I think she's just woken up, hasn't she? Oh, you look so sleepy. <laughs> I'm tired, but I don't have any tummy aches anymore. And that's when Tim said, I miss you, Topsy. Oh, I miss Topsy. Dad, can we visit the hospital? And um, I, I really miss Topsy. Let's pack up the tent and Carson will drive us home. Okay. And we'll come and see you soon, yeah. twin-tastic Topsy. We'd like that. Bye. <laughs> Bye. 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 And that said, Dad, was that. Three months have gone by, and it's the start of the summer holidays. We all wore our normal clothes to school today. We never wear uniform on the last day of term. We say goodbye to Mr Morris, our year one teacher. A lovely summer holiday, Topsy and Tim. And here's our new teacher, Miss Percy. class in September, Topsy and Tim. We will, Miss Percy. Oh, yes, Miss Percy. Hi, Topsy and Tim. How are you two doing? And look, one very big change in our family is Mummy. She's expecting a baby. Now, who would like to start their summer holidays with puppy training? Yes, <laughs> me! When Grandma's lovely old dog, Mossy, died, Grandma was very sad for a long time. But she knew Mossy would want her to get another dog one day. And so she did. Last week, she adopted a little rescue puppy called Pippa. And it's Pippa's first ever puppy training class today. I helped Grandma to train Pippa to sit. And take the lead off. Then I helped Grandma to train Pippa to come. Hand down lower. You have to call her in a clear, happy voice. Pippa! 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 There we go. Gently, that's it. Oh, lovely. On the floor. There we go. And stroke her on the chest. Later in the park. Oh, hold on, Topsy and Tim. Grandma needs to collect Pippa's poop in a bag and then put it in the bin, OK? okay. Can we go over to the playground, please, Mummy, while well, Grandma does that? Yes, of course you can. You take Pippa, Pippa. just stay where I can see you both, OK? OK, we will. Okay, All take right. care of Pippa. We, we will. will. <laughs> Thank you, Tim. Come on, Pippa. Come on. Yes, When we get to the playground, we see Tony Welch on a swing. And his dad with little Jack. Oh, the sign says, no dogs allowed. Oh. I know. I'll take Pippa around there and then you go into the play park and I'll show Tony Pippa. Brilliant idea. Bye. See you in a minute. Hi, Tony. Hello, Tim. Hi. We're looking after our grandma's puppy. Hi, Tony. Come and say hello to Pippa. Hi, Pippa. Look how high I can swing. Whoa, that's high. I'm going to catch you. Tim, watch out! I'll get you. Tim, stop. Don't play near a moving swing. Tony, slow down, please. What's going on, everyone? 
everyone. Hi, Joy. Nothing to worry about. Just a bit of over-enthusiastic swinging and jumping. Tim, you know, you need to be careful around the swings. Sorry, Mummy. OK. Where's Pippa? Oh, she's over there with Topsy. Hi, Tony. Hi. Topsy, where's Pippa? I don't know. She must have run away while I was watching Tony on the Pippa? side. Pippa! I'm sorry, Grandma. Oh, no. Listen, let's Sorry, not Grandma. panic, Topsy and Tim. She can't have gone far. I know. Mm. Do you have some puppy treats to get her back? That's just what I was thinking. Oh, oh no, look, they've oh. all gone. No. Oh. But I remember Mossy running off when she was a puppy when she was first rehomed with me. And she came back when I called her. So, come on, let's call Pippa. Pippa! Oh, Topsy, Tim and Tony, why don't you climb up that blue climbing frame and see if you can see Pippa from up yeah. there? Come on, Topsy. Good girl. I'll come around here. Okay. Oh, Be careful. You will. with little Jack, starting tonight. Oh, I'm so lucky. We love sharing a bedroom, didn't we, Topsy? Yeah. Topsy and Tim and Tony, come down! I've got an idea! Come okay. on. Grandma reminds us of something we learned at puppy training earlier. Okay, come on, Topsy, right. Now, do you remember at the puppy training this morning what the instructor said? He said we had to use clear, happy voices to get Pippa to come to us. OK? That's yes. right. Do you remember Topsy and Tim? Yeah. Yes, I okay. do. Right, so you have a go first, Tim, OK? okay. Pippa! 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 Oh, that was very good. OK, you have a turn. Go on, you'll go. Pippa! Pippa! Oh, that's good, Topsy. Pippa! Oh, oh. Maybe she can't hear you. How about all three of you shout together? You two, Tony, nice okay. and clear, OK? OK, ready? Ready. ready. Three, two, one. Pippa! 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 So pleased to see you. <laughs> she is. <laughs> and she came mm. back to us. I yes. think her puppy training saved the day. She oh, that was just after we called for her. She did, she did. Mm. I'm really sorry I didn't look after her properly, Grandma. Oh, that's okay, Topsy and Tim. We've all got a lot to learn <laughs> about how to look after her. <laughs> but please, please listen to me. Listen to me. Never let her go again, will you? No, we won't. Good. Right, I think we should quietly walk Pippa back to Grandma's house. I could do the sit down and a cup of tea. Good thinking. Yes, Mummy. Right, off we go. Bye, Tony. Bye, Joy. Bye. After tea at Grandma's, we walk back to our house. And Dad gets home from work. Look, it's Dad. Hello, you three. <laughs> it's the holidays. You can yeah. stay up late tonight, yeah. Topsy and Tim. Please, can we watch a movie in our pyjamas? Yes, later. I oh. need your help first, gang. Oh, what? With this... <gasps> cot. Oh, you got a cot for the new baby? Oh. Yeah. OK. 
Dad's been given this second-hand cot by someone from his work. Yeah. Thank you. This is fun, isn't it? Something new for yeah. the house. So many things are changing at the moment, aren't they, Dad? They are. You two are both growing up and heading into year two. Yes. Grandma's got a new puppy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Mum's having a baby. Yes. And Tony's mum's having a baby as well. Did yeah. you know that? No, I didn't. How exciting. Oh, a new friend for your little baby brother. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Tony and little Jack, they're sharing a bedroom. Oh, uh, yeah, that's what Tony said. Oh. Starting from tonight. Oh, well, actually, Topsy and Tim, um, there's something that we wanted to talk to you about. What? What do you mean? Well... Mummy and I would like it if you two could share a room again, please, so the baby can have his own room. Would you mind, Topsy and Tim? Sharing we love to, again, love to like... love to love ah! <laughs> <laughs> Well done. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Can we start tonight? Uh, yes, yes, of course you can. <laughs> like Tony works for Little Jack? Yes. Yes. How yes. okay, keen, aren't you? Thank you for giving up your bedroom for your new baby brother. And Topsy, thank you for sharing your bedroom with Tim. That's OK, Dad. OK, pass it over here. It's really heavy. I oh, know. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> OK, and can you pass me the pillow and the duvet? I'll get please? the pillow, Tim. Thank okay. you very much. Oh. Thank you. Oh. Well done, you three. <laughs> Here are some drinks for all your hard work. Oh. Oh. oh, wow. I love your curtains. One top tastic curtain for Topsy and one twin tastic curtain for Tim. <laughs> oh, they're lovely. Mummy, mm -hmm. when the new baby comes, will you and Dad still love Tim and me the same as much as you do now? You lovely girl. And that's when Mummy and Dad said, Of course we will, Topsy and Tim. Of course we will, Topsy and Tim. And when your new baby brother comes, he will love you just as much as well. Mm. <laughs> There's plenty of love to go around for all our family and friends. Nothing will change that. <laughs> right, let's get more boxes. Yeah, come on. Get it all done. And that said, Dad, was that. I haven't been back here at school for eight days because I had appendicitis. I had to have an operation to make me better. Are you tired? A bit. Mummy? Hmm? What if Carrie's got a new best friend? Because I haven't been there for a bit. Oh, Topsy, I'm sure she won't. You two are BFFs. You're best friends forever. Hi, <laughs> Good to see you, Topsy. Glad you're better. <laughs> oh, there's the bell that we're coming out. Hi, Topsy. Hi, Binda. How's your tummy? It's OK, thanks. It just hurts when I move too fast. Topsy, hello. Hi, so hi, lovely hi, to Topsy. see you. How are you? Better, thanks. Good. I just walked all the way here from my house. Good. And when are you coming back to school? Um... Oh, well, next week, we hope, Mr Morris. Well, we will all be very pleased to have you back. Hi, Topsy. Hi. Hi. Hi, I'm hungry. Oh, okay, I've got you some apple rings. Oh, she's just over there. There you go, you had a good day. Yes, great. Thank you. Kerry! Topsy! Mum, do you like mini glasses? Oh, I love them, Tim. They look good enough to eat. Can I have a munch? children. They look super cool. They do. I'm going to the optometrist to collect my proper glasses. They're blue. <gasps> Sounds exciting. Mummy, I don't feel like 
feel like walking all the way to the optometrist. Mm -hmm. I, I don't feel like walking to the bus stop. I don't want tires. I want to go home. Oh, Topsy, I know, darling. But, but maybe if you have another apple ring, it'll give you enough energy. Maybe. Well, why doesn't Topsy come with us? We're going to the new pottery cafe on the ice Yes, can and then I? you and Tim can join us later. Oh, yes, can I? Great. Please, someone, please, Mommy. Please, please, Joy! Dominique, that would be amazing, thank Yay! you. Yay! Oh, oh, Topsy, please take it easy, OK? Will you look after her for me? Of course. OK, we'll only be about an hour, all right? All right. Thank you so See much, you Dominique. See you there. Yay! Right, should we go Bye. get the bus coming now. Can you? What number is it? Can you see the front? It's all fuzzy, Mummy. Oh, of course it is. Well, look, it'll, everything will be all right and you'll see much clearer when you get your new blue glasses, won't you? Yes. OK. Oh! It's the T42, Mummy! It is. It's the bus we need. Brilliant. drops us off right outside the opticians. It's been nearly a week since my eye test with Mrs. Gathari. See who's in there. Hello again, Tim. Hello. I brought my mum this time. Hi. <laughs> Is Topsy feeling better? Oh, she's much better, thank you, yes. She's gone to the pottery cafe with her best friend, Carrie. She has, and when she's fully recovered, I'll bring her here to have her eyes tested too. Lovely. <laughs> Tim, you must be here to collect your new blue glasses. Yes, please. Let me go and get them for you. Look, so in there, yeah. that's where I got my eyes tested. Oh, wow. And this is where I chose my new glasses. Look at all the frames. Oh, wow. Tim, would you like to come and have a seat here for me, please? Oh. You can try on your new glasses. Here we go. I'll put them on for you. There we go. Should we go and show Mummy and have a look in the mirror? Wait a Oh, wow. <laughs> Do I look good, Mummy? Oh, they look amazing. Tim, you look so grown up. <laughs> They're great. Are they comfy? Amazing. Right, we need to get the J33 bus because that's the one that will take us to the new pottery cafe. Okay. Oh, I'll spot the J33 for you, Mummy. Okay. Put your glasses on. The optometrist said I only need to wear my glasses to see things that are far away. Oh, what does it say? Can we see? Your new glasses look really smart. <laughs> Wait, there's another one, hang on. This one says... Yes, that's, that's the J33! It is the J33, brilliant. Cool. OK, you stand this side and I'll flag it down. Oh, hi! <laughs> well spotted, those new glasses are really helping. You can read it. OK, I'm going to go in first. Tim! Hi! Hi uh, Let's see your new glasses! One. I showed Topsy and Kerry funny things I can do with my glasses. And now, <laughs> for the new. <laughs> <laughs> Topsy Oakdale is a silly pink. Hey! <laughs> 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 Be 
careful with your glasses because they'll break easily. Oh, I will not. Can you let go? <laughs> Stop laughing. <laughs> no laughing in my school. <laughs> what would you like to eat, Tim? Um, we've had to. The menu's up there on the board. Can we sit down, Tim? Have a look at the blackboard. Cheese and tomato sandwich, please. And With my glasses on, I can read the blackboard well. really easily, even though it's a long way away. Tim, do you want to see what we've been doing? I painted a plate. And I painted a cute little dog, look. Oh. I think it'll be a perfect present for Grandma's birthday. Oh, great idea. But you're not using any really bright colours. That's because when we're finished, they get fired. That means they go in a really, really hot oven. And then they turn into their proper bright colours. I show Tim how the colours will end up after they're fired or cooked. Oh, they are much brighter. <laughs> Do you want to help me finish off the doggy, Tim? Oh, yes, please. Great idea. Tim. Do you want a paintbrush? You can use any colour. Let's do... Uh... Oh, look. Where's Dad? Oh, hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. Oh, hi. Dad, look. Look at my new glasses. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> they look great on you, Tim. Where Thank are you, you going, Dad? Um, well, Grandma just rang and gave me some bad news. Oh, what, oh, is, what it? is it? What's the bad news? And that's when Dad said... Grandma's had to take Mossy to the vet's top scene, Tim. Grandma's had to take Mossy to the vet's top scene, Tim. The vet's going to do some tests to find out why Mossy's still poorly. Will Mossy be OK? I hope so. Mossy's an old dog, top scene, Tim. But she's in the best possible place she can be. Poor oh, Mossy. Poor Grandma. Yeah. Oh. I want to go to the vet's now and help Grandma. She's oh, very worried. Uh, can I come? Can oh, I come? no, come here. That's, that's very sweet, Tim, but... There's too many of us, and I think we might just get in the way. Mm. OK? You wait here. I'd better get going. OK. OK. I hope Mossy gets better soon. Yeah, so do I. <sighs> hey, I'll tell you what, Tim. Why don't you put your new glasses on oh. and wave at me as I toot down the road? Yes! OK. That's a good idea. Can I as well, Dad? Yeah. Do you want to put your pretend glasses on? Yeah. <laughs> That's got that. I can do it. I've got real glasses. Bye, Dad. Bye. 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 Bye, Bye Dad. Bye. 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 And that said, Dad's car was that. Bye. I've been in hospital for two days, even though I'm getting much better. Oh, Gloria. Dr. Walton wants me to stay in hospital until she's sure I'm not going to get poorly again. Every day, Gloria brings round food for us. Gloria leaves a form for me to tick to say what I'd like for my lunch and tea. Hmm. Sausages or pasta? I don't know. I love them both. Pasta. Thank you. Must be feeling better. Definitely, if you're enjoying your food. I am, thank you, Ty. <laughs> right, I'm going to go and get a cup of tea. Mm -hmm. I won't be long, Topsy. Okay. Enjoy. Hello, Topsy. Hello, Nurse Yolanda. Snap! Look, you're wearing bunches like me. I am. Uh, sorry to interrupt your breakfast, but is it okay if I do your obs? Okay. Right, I'll just get this plugged in. Obs is short for observations. Lots of times during the day, the nurse has to check to see if I'm okay. What are you having for breakfast today? Lovely, excellent. Can you just hold your right hand like this for me? I'm just going to put this. I'll just put it on your. She clips something to my finger. On this hand. Just going to wrap this around your arm. Oh, thank you, Topsy. You're a professional at this now. Yolanda wraps a band around my arm. Perfect. It feels funny, well, no, it's like it's squishing me, now. but it doesn't hurt. 
that's great. Well done, Topsy. So you'll be pleased to know that your blood pressure and your heart rate are normal. I'll just make a note of that in your chart. And the last thing I need to do is just check your temperature. So I'm just going to pop this in your ear. Yeah. Lovely, thank you. My mummy says I should never put anything in my ear. Your mum's right. Oh, good, it's a normal temperature. You're doing very well today, Topsy. Does that mean I can go home today, please? Oh, well, we'll have to wait and see. Your temperature was a little too high last night. And Dr Walton will want to make sure that you really are feeling well before she lets you go home. But I feel better. And you're looking better too. In fact, I think you can get changed out of your pyjamas today and help me. We've got a new patient arriving and she'll need someone to look after her. I would love that. <laughs> Great. Well, she's called Molly. Uh, she's the same age as you and she'll be coming soon. As soon as Mummy gets back, I'll get changed. Good. Right, I'll just unplug this and let you enjoy your breakfast. See you in a bit. I get washed and dressed in normal clothes for the first time since Saturday. Uh, Topsy, this is Molly. Hi. Hi, Molly. Hi. Molly's broken her leg very badly. Oh, no. Whoa, how did you do that? I fell off my scooter. It really hurt. Ouch. You can look at my cast if you want. I won't feel it. You've been very brave. Hi there, I'm Joy. I'm Are you sure I can knock on your cast? Yes. <laughs> Whoa, it's really hard. <laughs> yes, the cast keeps Molly's legs still and straight so the bones can mend. <laughs> <laughs> Yolanda, please can I take Molly to the play zone? Ah, uh, not today, Topsy. <clears throat> Molly has to stay in bed and rest. But you can help me. How? By being Nurse Topsy. You can start by reminding Molly what OBS are, please. Well, OBS, you have to give Yolanda your... I explained to Molly what OBS are and show her what to do. And it'll go all in in a second. After her OBS, Molly's curtains are drawn so she can have a sleep. I have pasta for lunch and strawberry yoghurt. Oh, Topsy, you've eaten really well. You must have been hungry. It was really nice. And then... Joy. Hi, Jane. Grandma! It's visiting time. Oh, <laughs> Let me give you a very gentle hello, Grandma Huggle, and no screws. Right. Oh. I love you, Grandma. I love you too, and I've been so worried about you, Topsy. Well, how are you feeling? Better, thanks, now. Good. How was your holiday, Grandma? Oh. And how's Mossy? She's okay. We've had a lovely week walking in the countryside. Can I sit down? Right. Let me show you a photo of Mossy and me on a hill. Now, put it on. Uh, photos. What do you think of that? <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't she look funny? Mossy is Grandma's dog. She's a very funny dog and we love her. It was a very windy day, can you see? And then someone else comes to visit. Hello, Joy. Oh. Hello, Mr. Hello, Rosen. Hello, Mr. Rosen. Hello, Topsy. Mr. Rosen. Your dad told me you were in Daisy Ward, so I thought, as I'm here to have a check up on my leg, I'd pop up and say a quick hello. Oh, come and sit down, Mr. Rosen, please. Thank you. Now, if you're feeling a bit better, Topsy, you could try one of my homemade crunchy oat biscuits. Yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. Oh, yes, please. There <laughs> we go. Oh, yum. Thank you. Mm. Lovely. Good. Molly is awake. Ooh. Hi, Molly. Hi. Mm. Say hello to my new friend, Molly, Mr. Rosen. Hello, Molly. Hi. Molly, this is my grandma, and this is my friend, Mr. Rosen. <laughs> hello, Molly. Would you like a biscuit? Yes, please. I'll bring one over to you. Molly's broken her leg. Oh. Oh, dear. 
I broke my leg once when I was a little boy. It was the first day of the summer holidays. I spent the whole of the holiday with a cast on my leg. The only thing that made me feel better was all the drawing we did on it. You drew on your leg? On the cast, yes, and my friends did too. Lots of funny things. I used to look at them all and they cheered me up. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. I, uh, there might just be something in my wheelie bag to keep you and Molly busy for a little while. Have a look, Topsy. Are these pens for me? They certainly are. A little get well <laughs> present for my dear friend Topsy. Thank you, Mr. Rosen. My pleasure. Should we draw on your cast now, Molly? Would that be OK, Mummy? Sure, I don't see why not. Well, I'll leave you and Molly to uh, decorate the cast. Get well soon, Topsy. Bye. Bye. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Thank you. It's a really good idea. I do a secret heart drawing on the bottom of Molly's cast. She's looking great. I love this. <laughs> Are you finished yet, Topsy? Nearly. Oh. I've drawn. I like that. That's thank nice. you, my dog Mossy. Oh, you have? Yeah. <laughs> saying, get well soon, Molly. Oh. Thank yeah. you. That's all right. What have you drawn, Topsy? I can't see the bottom of my foot. It's a secret, and you can only see when you take your cast off. Thank you. I'm so happy you're in hospital with me, Topsy. I'm, I really like you being in hospital with me, too. We're going to have so much fun. Hello, everyone. Oh, great. I love signing casts. Hi, Dr Walton. Hello. <laughs> now, I'd like to have a chat with Topsy about going home. What do you think about that? Oh. OK. Well, let's go over to your bed and have a chat about it, OK? How are you feeling, Topsy? Uh, much better, thanks. Good. Right, I want you to just lie down so I can have a feel of your tummy. Just going to lower the bed a bit. That's all right? Good fun, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> OK. Let's see. How's that feel? Is it sore? It feels funny, but it doesn't really hurt anymore. Excellent. OK. Well, I think you're well enough to go home tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah. Ooh. Topsy, that's great. Stick. That's brilliant news. We can go and see Dad. And that's when Topsy said, But what about Molly? But what about Molly? I won't be able to see her, and I've only just met her. Well, I'll still have to see you tomorrow morning, so you'll have plenty of time together. When maybe... You could both go to the play zone together tomorrow. Can we? Please. <laughs> yes, that'll be fine. <laughs> Molly, we can go to the play zone tomorrow. Yes. And that said Topsy and Molly was that. Dad and I are collecting Topsy from the hospital. OK, in you get please, Tim. Let's go, go, go. Mummy's been staying with her and I can't wait to see them both. Like, oh, no, look at the mud on me. Ah. Yeah! <laughs> we need to get this car washed. Yeah, we do. Mm. Oh. Oh. Hi, love. It's Mummy. Oh, we're leaving right now. Ow! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, say that again. Yep, yeah, I can get them. Do you know where Topsy keeps them? Yeah, OK, I'll look there. See you in a bit. Bye. I need to get a few things for Topsy, Tim. You wait here, oh, OK? okay yeah. I won't be long. Afternoon, Mr Fenn. Hello there, Brian. Uh, Mr Fenn, mm. would you mind keeping an eye on Tim for me, please? I'll be two minutes. No problem. Uh. Thank you. Ooh. Uh. While Dad's in the house getting things for Topsy, I see two people walking along the road. I can't see who they are until they get closer. And then I recognise them. Oh! Hi, Josie! Josie's a year older than Topsy and me. She's one of our neighbours. 
Are you going to see Topsy? Yeah, we're going to bring her home right now. You're wearing glasses. Yeah, they're the same colour as my bike. Oh, yeah. Red and red. Hello. Hi. Hi, Brian. We've got to go. Topsy and Joy are waiting for us at the hospital. Sorry. It's OK. <laughs> Ooh, your new glasses really suit you, Josie. Thank you, Miss Dryadell. <laughs> I can see everything really clearly when I wear them. That's great. Right. Tim, are we ready? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Yes. OK, see you later. <laughs> Say hi to Topsy from me. Oh, I will. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye, Mr Fenn. Right. Mm. Here we come. I can't wait to bring her home. with Molly. Can I go and find them? Please? Yeah, of course you can. Don't run, Tim. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Topsy, hi. Hi, Tim. Do you like our mask? Molly has a tiger mask. <laughs> Topsy looks like little moon bunny. Boing, boing. <laughs> oh, Brent, please, can I have a mask? Yeah, of course you can. There you go. There's a little oh. pink one that we made earlier. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Thanks. <laughs> wow, I love it. Thanks, Brent. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> boing, 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 Come on, let's go and show Mummy and Dad. OK. Hello. Look at you guys. Mine, mine, mine. Topsy, here's the uh, notepad you asked for. Oh, thank you, Dad. You're welcome. Molly, we can write to each other on my doggy paper. Yeah. And we can be pen pals. Thank you. Oh, Brian, did you bring that other thing for Topsy? Oh, yes, I did. Oh, no. Did you bring it? I did. I had him here somewhere. Oh, oh. I can't see him. Where? In the bag. In there? In the bag. No. 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 There he is. Oh, there's little monkey. Hello, little monkey. Hi. Hello. I'm looking for a friend. Oh. Can you help me? Oh, I know the perfect friend for you. I give little monkey to Molly so he can swing on her crutches. Thank you, Topsy. I love him. OK, guys, time to go. Oh. Brian, can you take that back? OK. Thank you. Bye, Molly. Oh, bye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye, Molly. Get well soon. Bye. Bye. Okay, bye. 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 Write to me. I will. <laughs> <laughs> See you. Bye. 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 Plenty of rest now, Topsy. Take it easy. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Thanks so bye. much, bye. Amanda. Bye. I'll miss my new friends at the hospital, but I can't wait to go home. Where is our car, Dad? Hmm. In the car park. <laughs> no, it does look a bit like it, but our car is much dirtier than that. Can't see it. Where is it? Ah! Oh, oh, well topsy. spotted. Go. Okay, let's you get in. these bags in the boot. Look, the Mud family is smiling now. Oh, oh, I did that. Did you? It's just like us, isn't it? Our oh, family all back together again. Happy. I wonder if you'd all like a quick trip through the car wash yes, yes, please. on the way up to yes. clean our poor muddy car. Yes, please. Okay. Yes. But then I see something. Look at our wheel. Hmm? Oh. Oh, no. I think we've got a flat tyre. Oh, no. Oh. It's flat, Dad. I wanted to go to the car wash. I know, sweetie, I know. One second. 
Then Dad has an idea. He makes a call to helpful drivers. Are all the buses out? Great, OK, no. We've picked up Topsy from the hospital and I've got a flat tyre. Yeah, I can fix it here, but if you can send a bus for joining the kids, that'd be great. Rhiannon's free, she'll be here in five minutes. Oh, yes. brilliant. Thank okay. you. OK, thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye. OK, should we get you guys in the shade? Go and sit in the shade yeah. and I'll get your car seats out ready for Rhiannon. We sit down and wait for Rhiannon to come and collect us. I spy my little eye something beginning with S. While we wait, S. we play a family game of I spy. Sausages! OK. Um, I spy. Hey! Why yes. the beginning with Ba? Ba! Yay! <laughs> Very good, OK. Take it easy, Topsy. Can I take yours? Yeah, of course you can. Can you take yours? OK. okay. Steady on, Danny. Hey! Hi, Rhiannon! Hi, Rhiannon. <laughs> Topsy? Okay. Great, thank you. Rhiannon? Yeah, good, thank you. We can go to the car wash another day. Yes, we can, exactly. Hi, Rhiannon, thanks for rescuing us. Hello. Rhiannon drives us home, and Dad stays to change the tyre. When we get home, Topsy gets into bed and falls straight to sleep. Topsy will sleep really well tonight back in her own snuggy bed, won't she? Mm -hmm. So glad you and Topsy are back now. Oh. Oh, me too. <laughs> Come on, into bed. Slippers <laughs> <laughs> off. Boy. Working properly. I can't see things very clearly. Okay, when did you first notice this? Well, I couldn't really see the whiteboard at school. Isn't it? So we've got three words on the board now. Tim, can you read them out for us? Do you want to come and sit at the front? Should we try again? Water, hospital, appendix. Excellent. Well done, Tim. And I also can really see Josie Miller walking down the road. Oh, uh. I don't think you've got anything to worry about, Tim. You might just need to wear glasses sometimes, like Josie. Yeah, and Josie's wearing red glasses to match her bike. <laughs> <laughs> that's her bike's <laughs> And that's when Mummy said, I will book you an appointment to get your eyes tested as soon as possible. I'll tell you what, Tim. I will book you an appointment to get your eyes tested as soon as possible, OK? OK, thanks. <laughs> Then I can wear glasses like Josie Miller mm -hmm. and little Stevie Dunton yeah. and Mr Morris, my teacher. <laughs> yeah, you might. OK, off to sleep. Mm -hmm. Night, night. Night, night. And that said, Dad, was that. <laughs> After school today, I've come straight to the vet's with Dad to be with Grandma. Her dog, Mossy, is very poorly. Hi. Hi. We've come to see Mossy and Mrs Odell, please. Yeah, it's just the great Thank you. Oh, hi, Grandma. Hi, Mom. Hello, you two. <laughs> oh, give me a hug, Tim. Oh. Hello, you OK? Yeah. Where's Mossy? She's still with the vet. Oh, is she OK? I'm waiting to hear, Tim. When can you take Mossy home? I don't know. The vet, he's called John, he'll let us know when he's done all his tests. Oh, OK. <laughs> so we wait. <laughs> and then John the vet comes to speak to us. 
Hello there, young man. Hi, Hi. Mrs. Odell. Look, there's no news on Mossy yet, I'm afraid. We're going to be giving her a scan shortly, and I'll let you know more just as soon as I can. But she is comfortable, though. But do be prepared for a bit of a wait, OK? Thank you, John. All right, no problem. Queenie the Cat, do you want to come on through? <sighs> Maybe I should drop you off at home, Tim, and I'll come back later, Mum. Yeah? Oh, no, thank you. I want to stay here and find out what's up, if Mossy's all right. And Daddy does too. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Right, let me phone Mummy and tell her what's going on. <laughs> Dad calls Mummy and we wait for news about Mossy. Then look who arrives. Yeah, we're still here. Oh, 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 oh and she's <laughs> seeing your phone. <laughs> Hello, Derek. <laughs> Hi, Brian. Okay? It's DIY Derek. Topsy has told us all about his dog called Teddy. <laughs> Little dog likes you, Mrs. Odell. Oh, hello, Derek. Hi, Mum. Sorry. Why have you brought Teddy to the vet? Yeah, oh, she's come for a flea treatment so she doesn't get all itchy. Oh. And what brings you here? Oh, it's Mossy. Yes. Huh? My lovely Mossy's been a very poorly doggy this week, hasn't she, Tim? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, Tim, I wonder if you could help me and Teddy for a minute or two. I need to go and weigh her on the scales. Oh, OK. Eddie, 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 She's cuddly <laughs> and very fluffy. So she's like a teddy bear, like my teddy bear. Do you know what, Tim? You're absolutely right. Just like Eddie Teddy. Hmm. <laughs> right, let's have a way. Now then, if you could just look at that little screen there and tell me how much she weighs, I'd hold her still. Uh, four dot four. Four point four kilograms, that is. Well done. Good work, Tim. Right. Come on, Teddy. Come on. Right, I'd like to see Derek's dog Teddy next, please. Oh, come on, Teddy Bear. Come on in. Tim, would you like to come in the surgery with me and Teddy Bear? Uh, I think I might sit with my grandma. Oh, now I'm fine, Tim. Off you go and help DIY Derek. Your dad will be back in a minute. Oh, OK. I won't be long, Grandma. Come on then, Tim. Come on, Teddy. Come on, Teddy. Come on Teddy Bear. Do you want to move her up on the table for me? There we are. Thank you. Right. Hello there. Let's have a little look at you, shall we? Vet John examines Teddy and then wants to know how much she weighs. She weighs 4.4 4 kilograms. Right. Right. Well, that sounds perfect for her and that means that she's getting the right amount of food and exercise. Does she like going for walks, Derek? Oh, yes, she loves going for walks, don't you? Mossy likes going for walks to our house, but only when she's not poorly. Yeah. OK, so what we're going to do next is put a little bit of liquid in between Teddy Bear's shoulder blades to stop her from getting fleas. Right. Yeah. Will your medicine help? It will. It should hopefully stop her from being too itchy. Grandma says whenever um, dogs get fleas, they always become itchy. Yeah, they do. Scratch, scratch. And the reason that I put it in between her shoulder blades is just so that she won't be able to lick it off. OK. Good girl. Well done. Well done, Teddy. Well done. Thank, Thank you very much, Mr. No worries. My pleasure. There you Good go. Good girl, Teddy. Come on. Thank you. There we are. Hello. Hello. Teddy, that was really good. Well, thanks for your help, Tim. Teddy Bear and I have got to get home for some tea. <laughs> I hope uh, I hope Mossy's feeling better soon, Mrs. Odell. Thank you, Derek. Right. Cheerio all. Bye, Bye Derek. Bye, Teddy. Bye, Teddy. Bye, Bye Teddy. Bye. Oh, what a lovely little dog. Yeah. Hi, Grandma. Topsy. How is Mossy? Hi. Here, give me a hug. Mm. We've just seen Derek and Teddy outside. They said there's no news. <sighs> no. When can we see Mossy, Grandma? Well, not yet. The vet will tell us when we can. Thank you both for coming. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to be at home. I wanted to be here with you. No. We're staying with you, Grandma. <laughs> Let's go fish. Yeah. I like that.
Then John the vet comes out to speak to us. Hi, folks. Thank you all very much for your patience. We've finished all the tests on Mossy now, so if you'd like to follow me, you can come and see her. Right. Come on, the guys. So she's just over here. Mossy's had quite the day of medical examination, so she's very tired, aren't you, old girl? Sleepy Topsy and Tim. Why don't you give her your best hugs, okay? And then we can go home and we'll leave her to rest. Boy, Tim, in you go, Topsy, give her a lovely hug. You can bury one of your balls in our garden when you're better. I love you, Mossy. I love you, Mossy. Okay, Topsy and Tim, it's time for Mossy to get some rest, okay? Sweetheart, but Grandma can really stay just as long as she likes. There really is no rush, Mrs. O'Donnell. Thank you, John. Mm. Come on, lovely Mossy. Let's give you a gentle stroke, mm. my dear old doggy. You okay if we take the children home now? Oh, yes, of course. Yeah. Off you all go and get your tea. Yeah. I'll call you later. Thank you. Bye, Topsy. Thank you. Bye, Tim. Bye, Grandma. Bye. After we leave the vet, we all feel very sad. I have an idea of something we can all do on the way home to cheer us up. What is it? The car wash! Yes! <laughs> yes! Brilliant idea. Oh, careful. There you go. After the car wash, One, we all feel better. Two, four, and when we get home, no! Dad plays a game of snakes and ladders with us. I always land on the snakes. Five minutes till tea, everyone. OK, Mummy. Whose turn is it? the dice, please. Uh, there you go. Oh. One again. Yes! Oh! 84. Whose turn is it? Mine. I'm going to win. <laughs> go on. Ryan? Yeah. Grandma on the phone. Okay, I'll be right back. You keep playing. Tim, do you think Grandma's oh. telling Dad and Mummy about Mossy? I'm so sorry. I think so. It's, it's your go. And that's when Mummy said, We have some very sad news, Topsy and Tim. We have some very sad news, Topsy and Tim. Poor Mossy's died. Mossy was too poorly to come home, but Grandma stayed with her the whole time. Poor Mossy. Now, you must both remember that Mossy was very old, but she had a wonderful, happy life and the vet did all he could to help her. Is, is Grandma all right? She's sad, but she didn't want Mossy to get any more poorly than she was when you last saw her. Grandma says it's for the best, and she sends you both lots of love and huggles. We loved her, didn't we? Yeah, yeah I love Mossy. Yeah. You too. And Mossy knew that, you know. She knew that we all loved her. That's why she was always such a happy dog. Wasn't she? Even when... Grandma told her off. <laughs> yes. And when Mossy buried Grandma's slippers. <laughs> <laughs> Especially then. Well, she really was a very special dog, wasn't she? Yeah. yeah. We'll never forget her. No. Why don't we go downstairs for tea and remember our favourite Mossy stories? Yeah? Okay. Yeah? Today, I'm watching Mummy clear out our playhouse.
because I can't go to school. I'm still getting better after my appendicitis operation. Playhouse needed a really good spring clean. You do, Topsy, but your tummy is not well enough for hula hooping yet. I knew you'd see that. Look, you need to just sit down and take it easy for me, okay? Um, can you have a look through these boxes and see if there's anything that you want to keep? Oh. Mummy, when is Grandma coming? <laughs> I've told you so many times, Topsy Twin. Grandma's coming over later this afternoon when she takes Mossy for her walkies. Mummy, what will Tim be doing at school now? Tim will probably be playing with his friends about now, I would have thought. And you will be going back to school again very soon as well. But you've got to do what the doctor says and take it easy, OK? I know that. But what shall I do while you're finishing off clearing out the playhouse? What would you like to do? Go on the swing? Uh, no. <laughs> Not until you're better. You have just had a really big operation. Hello! Hello! It's DIY Derek. Come on! Hi, DIY Derek. Hello! What are you doing in Mr Penn's garden? I'm, uh, just fixing his fence for him. And I brought a friend along with me to help. DIY Derek. She's called Teddy. She's three years old and my wife and I have only just got her. Please may I stroke Teddy, Mummy? Please, double please. <laughs> yes, of course you can. If DIY Derek says it's OK. Of course. Teddy loves to be stroked. Don't you, Teddy? You like to be stroked, don't you? Yes, you do. <laughs> yes. I'll tell you what, I'll finish with this panel and I'll bring her around to your garden, Topsy. OK. All right, see you Thank in a bit. You. See you in a bit. All right. When he's finished, DIY Derek comes to our garden for a cup of tea and I play with Teddy. Come here. Teddy, Teddy, come Soft. You know, Topsy, she likes to have her tummy tickled too. Teddy, come on. And come Topsy, on. she likes to play with her rubber bone. Oh! Teddy, here you go. She likes her garden. Oh, she's a. She probably sniffs something interesting. She likes to explore. <laughs> yeah. She'll come back to you soon, Topsy, don't worry. Oh, it's the phone. Oh, wait me a minute, Derek. OK. Teddy! Teddy! Can you see her? Come on! Oh, look. Topsy, I've just remembered something. Look. Oh! My wife bought some doggy snacks. Look! I think she recognises the, the rustle of the bag, doesn't she? <gasps> she likes her doggy snacks. Yes. Feed her one, but keep your hand nice and flat for I know me. how to feed her, because we feed our grandma's dog, Mossy, a lot. Oh. There, she likes that, <laughs> doesn't she? <laughs> Don't you? Look, look. She's gorgeous. Mummy, I was feeding the dog. Oh, she's a hungry little doggy, isn't she? Yeah. Just one every now and again is fine, Topsy. I'll tell you what, I'll put these back in my pocket for now. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, Topsy, do you remember <laughs> Grandma was coming over here this afternoon? Yes. Well, that was Grandma on the phone. And it turns out that Mossy's not very well today. Oh. So she was wondering if we could go round to her house instead. Short walk would be all right for you, wouldn't it, Topsy? Yes, and, and Teddy and I really must get back to Mr Fenn's garden. Back to the garden next door. Haven't oh, we? Oh, but can I just play with Teddy for a bit longer, please? No, I'm sorry, Topsy. Teddy and Derek need to get back to work. 
But you are getting to see two doggies today. You're going to see Mossy and Teddy. OK. So we're going to say goodbye, say... Bye-bye, Topsy. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye, Teddy. Next time, come and play with me and Tim. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> Derek, mm -hmm. please may I take one of your special um, Teddy snacks so I can give it to Mossy? Yes, of course. Teddy won't mind, will you, Teddy? Oh, here we are. Oh. There we are. Thank you, Derek. Okay. Oh, I'll put one in a bag for you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, look. She's very interested in something over there, isn't she, Topsy? Yeah. Where is she? I can't see She's her. gone in the bush. Shall we go and have a look? Yes. Yeah. Teddy. Oh. <laughs> oh, look. Look. What's she found? It's just an old ball, isn't it? Oh, it's one of Mossy's old balls. They're everywhere in our garden. Oh, are they? Mummy, please can I take this ball that Teddy found and give it to Mossy to cheer her up? Oh, that's very thoughtful of you, Topsy. Yes, of course she can. Come on, let's go and wash your hands before we go. I'll get my pet's kit and then I can take it to Grandma's house and give it to Mossy to cheer her up. Oh, that's a really good idea. You certainly know how to make dogs very happy, Topsy. <laughs> Good girl, let's go and wash your hands. We walk all the way to Grandma's house. I carry my vet's kit. This is the first proper walk since leaving the hospital. We go slowly. It's Grandma. Hello, Grandma! Hi. Hello, you two. Very well. Huggle! Oh, gentle little huggle. There we go. Mm. Oh. Where is Mossy, Grandma? Oh, she normally comes out to say hello to you, doesn't she? She's just inside having a little sleep. Look, Mossy, I've got my vet's kit. Oh, lucky Mossy, someone to look after you. She does keep getting tired now she's a bit older. Oh, poor Mossy. Can I do her obs? Oh, yes, of course. Obs. Medical observations. Just like hospital. Clever girl, Topsy. Just do them very gently. to look in her ear now. Just She's do being it. a very good girl. She is. Just do it from there, OK? Right. Does it seem all right? Yeah, I think so. Oh, Topsy, why don't you give her that dog snack? Maybe she'd like that. What's that? Yeah. Oh, here we go. Yes. There. Thank you. Good girl. What do you think, Mossy? Oh. She wants it right now. Shall I have it to give to her later? But she always likes snacks. I don't think she's feeling very well, darling. Do you remember when you were in hospital? Sometimes you didn't feel like eating either, did you? Mm. Oh. I know. Why don't you give her the ball that we found? <laughs> we found one of her balls, Grandma. Topsy thought she might like it. Look, this one. Oh, Here you go, Mossy. Look at that. Now, can you please just put it down where she can see it, Topsy? She's sniffing it. Did you? Did you? Oh! oh. oh. Yeah, she just nuzzled it! Oh. She's remembering its smell. Why didn't she just oh. wagged her tail? Oh. She's remembering having fun with that ball in our garden. Oh. And that's when Grandma said, You are a very clever vet, Topsy. You're a very clever vet, Topsy. Thank you, Grandma. You really have made her feel better. Come on, Topsy. We need to go and pick up Tim from school. Oh, can I stay here, please, Mummy? I think Mossy likes me being here. 
Yeah, Topsy, I think that's a really good idea. You stay here with Mossy and Grandma. I'll pick up Tim and bring him back here for tea, if that's all right, Grandma. Of course it is. Tea time with Topsy and Tim is just what Mossy needs. I won't be long. Bye, Mummy. Bye. I'll see you later. Bye, Joy. I'm staying with you, Mossy. And that, said Topsy, was that. <laughs>